All right, guys, today we are working on something a little bit different. I'm not going to do a full instructional video, uh, but I wanted to address this concern with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engines. On the 2018 through 2020 models, uh, they have an issue with them blowing smoke out the exhaust, blue smoke, burning oil um, after a cold start. So you drive it all day long like normal. You let it sit overnight, you know, four, six, eight hours cold soak. You start it up and you get a puff out of there that looks a little bit like this. Okay, so this vehicle's been sitting overnight after driving around a little bit yesterday. Uh, so that should definitely happen now. This is the next morning. Let's go ahead and start it up. There it is. It's definitely doing it. I mean, some of this, like the white, might be from it running rich cold. But it's not necessarily really humid out today. And it's definitely not cold to make it do that either. But initially, it was definitely blue. So that's what we're going in and fixing on this one. So what's the fix? Well, according to Ford, um, you simply need to replace the oil supply tube that goes to the driver's side turbo, which seems simple enough. I don't know how this affects it and how it's going to cause it to uh, have an issue with oil burning on startup. Uh, basically, they're saying that if you look at the TSB, um, this may be due to oil entering the left side turbocharger turbine housing, uh, which, of course, would burn up on startup. And after that, I'd be OK. So here is the oil supply tube for the driver's side turbo uh, that feeds oil through a filter from the head on over into the top of the turbo, down through it, and then comes out the bottom uh, to go back to the block into the pan there. So the only difference that I see on here, um, this side looks perfectly, you know, exactly the same. Okay, the bore diameter, everything on the inside. Uh, the only thing I see is on uh, the supply side over here, the pressure side, um, we are seeing, this is the old one, of course, two O-rings here. There's, a, there's a, a step right here, chamfer and a step, and then another O-ring, and then there's the filter. Uh, whereas the new style has the same size diameter here, chamfer to drop down the step, and the filter, which looks like the same length, everything's the same, except there's no O-ring right here. So that's the fix on there. So... Luckily, you know, it, it's pretty darn easy to get to. Uh, you basically just pull off the uh, air inlet tube and outlet tube uh, to that turbo so you have some room to work. And then you get down in here and the line is going to come out of the head right here, down and over to the top of the turbo. Let me get you some better angles here. So you'll see the supply right there coming out of the head. It goes down and over, tucks along the head, right down into the top of the turbo to feed it oil consistently or constantly as you're running the engine. The only thing that's really in the way of it once these uh, air inlet and outlet tubes from the turbo are gone, once they're gone, the only thing really in the way is this EGR like, like bypass tube right here. Uh, it's a feeder tube. So that's coming out of the... Uh, head here Let me get you over here to see so you can see where is it at right there it's coming out comes along the tube and comes over to feed the EGR cooler right here and then from there on out it goes to the valve and over and back into the intake and that little tube looks just like this so it's a pretty simple repair I mean you need you need two new gaskets for the EGR pipe, of course. Uh, but otherwise, you just buy the new line and plop it down, torque everything down. I mean, it looks just like this, and it comes just like this. New O-rings, everything pre-bent, ready to go. So it's an easy fix in the end. So I'm very curious to see if that really fixes it. As you just saw, um, we drove this vehicle around yesterday, let it sit overnight in the shop. We just showed you that clip of us starting it up for the first time in the morning. And you saw it's quite a bit of uh, blue smoke coming out of there. So uh, I'll, be, I'll be curious to see if this 
uh, this works in the end. So what I'm gonna do now is just put, put it back together, torque everything down, make sure we're good to go. Go for a short drive, make sure everything's okay. You know, try to recreate a normal driving situation, a short trip, and then I'm gonna park it outside overnight and we'll test it again in the morning. We'll check it out and see what you guys think, um, see if it fixes it. That, according to Ford, that is the fix. One simple little oil supply pipe to the left-hand turbo. All right, here we go. Next morning, let's see if Ford's oddball fix for this condition actually works should be able to see it pretty good if it happens. Here we go. Wow. I'm very impressed. That's normal right there. Once it heats up a little bit of steam and stuff like that from the direct injection. But no blue smoke, you saw it. And even this is like nothing compared to uh, before. Wow. It's fixed, I cannot believe it. Well, there you see it. There you have it. It is a confirmed fix on the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engines. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.